go. Let's Cheers. Go. Really good. Mmm. Good afternoon, everyone. I hope you're all doing great. This is David Hoppin from David's Bin here, coming at you from really, really hot Porto Alegre, the capital of the state of Rio Grande do Sur in southern Brazil. Today, I'm doing something really, really special. I'm going to a Alacar Brazilian steakhouse that focuses on quality meat from this beautiful state. This place is called Comca. So we're gonna go inside, we're gonna sit down, we're gonna try a few different cuts of meat, we're gonna try some polenta, we're gonna see them cooking some of the meat. I'm excited, I'm pumped, my man. Let's go, man, I'm hungry. This is like a very traditional place here in Porto Alegre, uh, attended by the locals and they serve delicious meal. So let's go, I'm hungry, let's go. Falada ali. He, yeah, he, he used to be a professional basketball player. Oh, wow. Professional. But not so tall. <laughs> not so tall. Dude, you're tall. No. I'm six, so you must be 6'3". Like no, there's no player in those. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The owner is the man. Oh, wow, this is nice. I like it. Beautiful. So you have two different areas yes. here and then a big dining hall. This is the, this is the old one. Uh, the salon is uh, from the beginning of the restaurant. This part is, is a little bit new. So you'll be welcome. Obrigado. All right, guys, we are in the kitchen. Wow. Woo! Caliente. Pollo. Si, sí, pollo. Okay, so chicken over here. We have chicken heart. El core. No, el corazón. Oh, man, everything looks so good. Mmm. Amazing. Bon dia, bon dia. Yeah. <laughs> it's the best. Going to Brazilian Steakhouse is an experience. Obviously, most people can't come back here, but you still can watch it from the window. You can see all these amazing cuts being cooked right here on the grill. Delicious. I love it. Oh, tout est bon. Tout est bon. The way it works, you go to your table, you order whatever you want. Chicken, heart, sausage, beef, beef, just non-stop different cuts. Then they cook it right here on the grill. And then they put it on the plate right there at the window. Exactly. Really, really amazing process. They also add some delicious salt, rock salt, the best. Better, better quality meal, I mean meat, mm -hmm. premium cuts. So, so good. it's not about quantity, it's about really high quality. So we're gonna get a lot of quantity too. Yes, <laughs> as, as well. Always. This is, uh, this is Beard's High League. It uh, was made on Santa Cruz do Sul in Rio Grande do Sul. The owner here is too nice. He's like, you like craft beer? I'm like, yeah, I do. He's like, you have to try this one. So the brewery is called Helige, and it's from Santa Cruz do Sol. So Santa Cruz do Sol is a is a, like a German town in this state, and they make this amazing beer. So this is the pale ale. They also have a porter. They have Oktoberfest, a red ale. I mean, the beers look amazing. Let's try this one. Mm. Oh, nice and light, crispy, a little cloudy, as you can see, like more golden, golden ale look. The taste is phenomenal, though. It tastes more like a sessionable IPA. Oh, I'm so excited. This place is ridiculous. Going in the back there, seeing how they do all the different cuts, you know, it, it's really an experience just coming to this type of place. And what's cool is that this side is the older side of the restaurant. That's why it feels like this, like more like a, like a diner, super high ceiling, nice like blue and yellow. They have the bar over here. They have lots of wines as well. Wine country up here. And yeah, we're gonna eat a lot of food. We're gonna get like five different cuts. I'm excited. Saúde. Hey, Rafa, Saúde. What do we order? Yeah, David, here we order shishu, which is kind of like a huge skewer of uh, meat, tomato, onions. It's uh, typical from Rio Grande do Sul State. We order cockerel, sprinkled with Parmesan cheese. We order entrecote, which is the, the filet de costilla, filet de costella. And then we order polenta. We order some green salad and some fried yuca, some fried cassava. Are you ready, man? It's, it's gonna be a lot of meat. I'm excited, my man. Saúde. By the way, this is the best uh, sparkling water in Brazil. Yeah? Yeah, you wanna see it? Oh, it's nice. Different. It, it tastes very similar to Sapa Yeah. Similar taste. So the owner really wanted to surprise us. Look at this. We have yes. two skewers. This one's a mix, so it's like sausage, chicken, onion, beef, tomato, repeating. Over here we have a nice piece of beef. 
We have two different polenta, uh, like fried polenta, this right? This is entrecote. Oh, it's entrecote? Yeah, okay. so it's called the ribs fillet. Ribs fillet? Filet de costella. We have like a mashed potato here. Yeah, this is called shisho, which is a three piece of meat, uh, sausage, uh, pork, and tomato. Oh my God. Yeah. Then we have the chicken with Parmesan cheese melted yeah. on top. Yeah, we call cockerel, galetto. Cockerel. Yeah, cockerel. And a salad. Yes. All right, we are ready to eat. We have non-stop food. It's a lot of food. The only thing we're missing is chicken uh, chicken heart, but we've eaten a lot of that in the last yeah, two days. I, I don't think we, we're missing, right? No. We're not gonna be missing. At all. What do we start with? I don't know, I think maybe with the entrecote. Entrecote, yeah. Yeah. Let's dive on it. Looks so delicious. Wow. Meat all day. Cheers, man. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Different, huh? Mm -hmm. High quality. Mm -hmm. It's crazy how you can taste it. So fresh, never frozen, delicious. We call the filet de costella. Filet de costella. Yeah, which is the intercut, right? So like the ribs filet. And this is chimichurri right here? Yes. So I'm gonna add a little bit of chimichurri on top. Why not, right? Mmm, so good. Yes. You know, I never love adding chimichurri. I feel like it kills the taste, but this one actually enhances it. Yeah, it kills, it kills the, the, the taste sometimes. Especially when it's salty. Most of the time, mm -hmm. So here it has like a uh, big influence of Italian. Mm -hmm. Right. And you can taste it in the sausage. Mm -hmm. The sausage and also- And the polenta. Polenta, that's not polenta. So we have two polentas. We have these thin ones and we have the big boy. Yes. What? Yes. Uh, he is also known for galat galeteria. Mm -hmm. Galeteria comes from the word galeto, where it's a uh, house specialized in cockerel, right? Which is this one here. Usually it's weighed up uh, up 800 grams. So baby chicken, right? Baby. Baby chicken. Because usually chicken is like 1,300 kilos, right? Let's go, cheers. Let's go. Really good. Mm. Juicy and a little bit salty because of the parmesan bit. cheese. A little bit. Yeah, so galeteria, man, the, they must have the potato salad. So yeah. galeteria means you have the cockerel with the potato salad. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm. Love the cheese, man. Mm -hmm. Cheese, like this, crispy. Parmesan cheese. Wow. Who knew Brazil was this diverse, no? Yes. So, wow. This type of meal you can find in some other regions of Brazil, but here, that's how they do the the right way, the le le legitimate way, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And how's the potato salad? Mm. It's good. I asked him to do with bacon, the cockerel. So, cockerel with bacon and cheese. Mm. Mm -hmm. Look, there's bacon. Wow. Yes. I gotta say, the potato salad is creamy mm -hmm. and it's soft it's not mashed potatoes it's just very very soft potatoes that must have been yeah. boiled right mm -hmm. the good uh potato salad uh it has not a lot of mayo yeah it's light yeah and people put too many sauces mm -hmm. they're like trying to cover that the, the, the all the defe defeat uh, yeah. defects the yeah, yeah. Defect. The defects so mm -hmm. if it's bad meat they throw a lot of sauce yeah you know? Right, like very liquid. Mm -hmm. Another thing, man, potato salad Delicious. must be cold. Must be served cold. It's so cold. Yeah, because that's how you get the right texture, right? The good texture. That's mm. phenomenal. So what Gila is telling me is to mix the sausage with potato salad. So just get a little bit. It's nice and creamy. Cheers, bro. Cheers. Mm. Mm -hmm. So tasteful. Now you're having the real deal. Mm. You don't need to go to all you can eat, you know, you can go different style. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all you can eat is really if you just have a crazy appetite, you know? Mm -hmm. I don't love all you can eat. Me neither. It's it's always uh it's overkill. Yeah, look. Usually it's like they don't serve you like really high quality meat. And usually in an all you can eat place you can talk. Yeah, big, huge. Big. Cheers, oh yeah. So crispy. Mm. This it? one I think is more crispy. It seems that this one is fried. That one's I more crispy. This is fried too. I will. But the inside, because it's so much, 
The inside is very soft. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try with some of this. Yeah, in my opinion, I mean, the best cost and benefit in Porto Alegre for like a me experience, you know? Mmm. It's so fire. Wow, super sweet. Yeah. Yeah. It's almost like a mix between a jam and honey. You have to try the polenta with this sweet sauce. Dude, what are we missing? Chicken hearts. No. I know, I'm joking. You, you mean on the plate, right? I mean, this is different. What's this, this one. This is uh, pork. This is pork? Pork. We've eaten very little pork. They don't really love it down here, right? Yeah, and uh, usually you eat with the tomato. So nice. He's like, you want another beer? I'm like... So, still, still working on it. High quality premium cuts. Like, yeah, yesterday we had a lot of meat, which is all you can eat. So obviously the quality is not the same as this. And if it was like a little bit overcooked, mm -hmm. they're not like paying attention too much about, you know, when you manage the, the barbecue, you know? Just too busy, you know? It's hard, especially when you don't know what went in first. You know? Yeah, and usually people are not like too demanding of like what they're eating, you know? Yeah, it's eating. You pay like a very, yeah, but that's the female. When you pay like a really low price, you can go with like a, 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 a high expectation, right? Yeah. Right? So good. Right? My favorite thing here is the chicken. They're specializing that. Wow. Baby chicken and Parmesan cheese. Crispy like this. And bacon. Has bacon on it. Well, the bacon is around mm -hmm. here. So I didn't even notice it, dude. So it's chicken wrapped with bacon and cheese. They are so creative. This is just like bomb. Mm -hmm. Like straight up bomb. And just enough, right? We don't need that much more. No. Ah. Well, uh, you're missing that, man. Mm. This is cassava fries. Also known as yuca frita. Yes, we call Ipin. 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 I'm from Miami. We have a lot of this. I personally rather have yuca fries every day over potato fries. Yeah. And fries are always better. Because mm -hmm. you oh, also fries. serve uh, steam. I don't like that. It's too moist. It's nice. And I think maybe some of that sweet sauce on top. Look, look. Go like this. Now we're gonna like. Look. Okay. Now I'll see it. Sprinkling some cheese on the top of the cassava oh my God. sticks. This one. Mm -hmm. Much better. Mm -hmm. What a combination of the Parmesan cheese and the olive oil. Yeah, but adding this. I love the city, bro. The meat. Just blow they, they, they don't joke around, you know. Mm -hmm. They take very serious, man. This is food for three, four people. Yeah, and the problem is we had breakfast earlier. Yes. <laughs> I am in awe. Brazil is like number one in export. Okay. So we are the first one. I think in Argentina they're more concerned about really high quality beef, you know. And they're not so creative. Uh, and don't, they don't have as many as side orders like we do. Wow. And the difference, I think, we have the picanha, which is a top slow steak. It's kind of like a Brazilian cut, you know? It is the Brazilian cut. I think we don't need to compare. It's just different style, you know? Yeah, different styles. Yeah. I'm just saying, I haven't been to Argentina yet, but Brazil's awesome. Yeah, Uruguay, you have to respect both countries, you know? From this state down, right? Uh huh. I love the sauce. So I'm gonna add some of this delicious sweet sauce. Changes up the smoky and the, and the salty with the sweet. Mm -hmm. How is it? Amazing. Oh, thank you very much. Mm. Hope you enjoy the food. I'm blown away. All right. Dude, what are you saying, bro? My friend. What's wrong? Let's to change saying? our t-shirt now and you put this t-shirt under the rubbish. <laughs> what do you think about this? The problem is that I bought this one because they told me they told me that this one was like the team of the city, but there's two teams and that's the one that everybody loves. This is the best. The three 
of Cups of Libertadores. Everybody in this restaurant is super friendly, from the owner to the staff to other guests. Everybody is talking to us. They're like, what are you doing? Just making friends here. They gotta say, this is my favorite for other trips so far. I've tried a few different quarters. Um, you know, I was in Blumenau, the beer capital of Brazil. Amazing stuff. Try some stuff there. There's some other stuff in Florinopolis, but this is definitely my highlight. And it's from Helige. Helige. So the owner was like, hey, David, you like dark beer? I was like, yeah, dude, but yeah, I don't have to drink anymore. He's like, no, 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 you have to try this beer. This beer is one of the best. 6.5% quarter. It's the same brewery. Heolige, right? Heolige? Yeah, Heolige. 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 Oh, wow. Wow. It's like straight up chocolate milk right here. Mmm, nice and cold. Just the way I like it. I'm personally a big fan of dark beers. I like light beers, I like IPAs, but this is the best. It's the English person in me, you know? I'm uh, I'm 15% English, by the way. Mm -hmm. 15. Solo 15. <laughs> There's one drink in Brazil in Belo Horizonte. Okay. They serve uh, black beer with a quail leg. With a quail leg. And some other stuff that I can't remember, but it's like a shot. They call it like natural Viagra, you know? It's oh like my crazy. god. Yeah, yeah. I, I never want to mix this with anything else. I've mixed beer with other beers like that, like, you know, people do that. They make it work, but yeah. it's phenomenal. The food's so good. The food is so good, I can't stop eating. I know. I ate so many polenta fries, yuca fries, the intercot. It was still all that chicken. Oh. We'll take it to go. Yeah. We don't waste any of this food. All right, what do we have here? Yeah, so here's like one of the Rio Grande do Sul uh, dessert which is a uh, manioc starch with vanilla, eggs, uh, wine, wow. and it's delicious. It's one of the main dishes of the, this beautiful state. It looks like a great pudding with cream on top. And kind of like grape juice or wine, called Sagu de Vinho. Let's dive in. Let's go. Oh, wow. You see the bubbles? The bubbles like the, kind of like tapioca, but we call manioc starch. Tell me. Mm. So good. It's like boba. You know boba, the little jelly? Yeah, the bubble, yeah. Mm -hmm. Like bubble tea? Bubble tea. Yeah, different sizes. Yeah. It's from the tapioca. And there's condensed milk on top? Uh, vanilla. It tastes like condensed milk. It though. tastes because they probably like add sugar and egg. Yeah. So like the texture is a little bit creamy, you know? Mmm. This is so good. It's too good. This is like a... I don't even know how to explain this. Yeah. So, but it's kind of like a pudding at the same time. Like it a, is, it is. Uh, but I love this the little jelly. Mm -hmm. The flambe, right? Mm -hmm. You can taste the wine, but there's no alcohol. There's no alcohol because uh, there should evaporates. Be. There should be. Yeah, but it evaporates, right? <laughs> Otherwise, I wouldn't be eating. I know, I know. But uh, wow. This is a type of dessert, man. It's hard to share with someone, you know? No, you can't share this. You can't share because it's so good. You told me like, oh, I'm full, man. I can't eat anymore. Come on, you're gonna eat the whole dessert because it's so delicious, <laughs> right? It's too good. <laughs> no, it's like, it's creamy. It's uh, it's cold, cold, it's cold, cold refresh, right? Fresh. Especially in the heat look. outside, but look at this, whoa. Yeah. And the best thing to do is mix both together. Yes, look. Mmm. They have cachaça here. Looks amazing. They have five different types. They have one with like a parent side. They have one butia, losna. I don't even know these names, but this is losna. Oh my god. Forte. Oh, this is like straight grappa. Esto grappa. Grappa. So we're trying the butia. Ooh, como miele, no? Miele. Yeah, this is better. The one that tastes like honey, way sweeter, delicious. Obrigado. Viva Porto Alegre, viva Rio Grande do Sur. This viva. is delicious. Sagu de vinho. First time having this dish. First time where we had before. No, first time. Mm. When you're finishing, it's a little bit, you can taste the wine, the grape. 
Yeah, you can taste it. You can mm. taste it. I love this. I think I'm getting drunk, man. No. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> gotta say, this was an epic experience. The owner is just an awesome guy. Yeah. Super hospitable. He brought us in with open arms. He was like, go, you can do whatever you want, go in the back, go Deco. in the back. Deco. Deco. Deco's he, the name he of it. He loves to talk about basketball. Yeah, yeah, he's an NBA fan. Me too. Yeah. LBJ yeah. all day. Me too, I love it. Uh, so we went to the back, we saw them, you know, grilling all the meats, experienced the restaurant, I tried a few beers, and we had epic food. We have polenta sticks. Cassava sticks, we had intrecot, then another skewer with like Shishon. three different things. Yeah, Shishon. meat, pork, and um, tomato, and sausage. What was your favorite? My favorite was the intrecot. The intrecot? Yeah. For me, I think the chicken with the parmesan. I like the chicken too. It was I like really it. good. Yes. But I have to say that that porter was delicious. Again, this place is very Italian. Yeah. You know, Italians came here about 100 plus years ago. Exactly. They immigrated here, and that's how they have uh, you know this influence in exactly. their cuisine. Exactly. Huge. Yeah. Huge. So when you come to Rio Grande del Sur, Porto Alegre, come to this restaurant. Absolutely. How do you say the name? Comat. Co Conca. Conca. K O N K A. Conca. Yeah. Conca. 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 It is you know a la carte menu but part of the best meat you'll have here in terms of quality. And guys, if you love this video, thumbs up, comment below, let us know what you think about this video. Hey man, come back. Please come to Porto Alegre. We will. If you like, looking like to have a good uh, like meat experience. Yeah, looking for me in Brazil, come down here. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome travel content and don't stop eating. Sagu de vinho. Mm-hmm. Wow, so good.